Hello and welcome to my 21st tutorial. In this tutorial we will make a simple pawn game in C++. So you know what a pawn game is. It's a simple game where you play pong. Um, you have two players and one ball and if the ball cr uh, goes to the right side and you don't hit it with your paddle, uh, the other player gets a score. And vice versa for the other player and we will make that game in C++ and we'll be using the basic C++ functionality and some basic libraries um, so let's get started the first thing we should do is create a class for the ball so let's call the class C ball and the class will have some private variables and those variables are used for storing the position of the ball on the screen and also the original x and original y coordinate also we need the direction of the ball it's similar to the snake game so if you haven't watched that tutorial i recommend to watch it also i explain how it does it work so the ball it starts moving in one direction for example it starts moving right and it will be moved on every um a loop of the program so let's create an enumeration for the direction so and i'm, I'm going to call it e dear and it will have a few um, few directions of the ball for this is a console application so it will not involve uh, sophisticated graphics so we cannot calculate and move the ball on different angles we can move it on a few angles so the first position will be zero and that will be stop the second one will be left and it's important that you type it like this I will, sh I will show you later why this is important so in this order type um, the um, type the uh, the members of the enumeration in this order. So down left three, right is four, and up right is five, and down right is six. I've typed the integer values also because it's uh, it's easier for debugging later, so you're gonna see. And we need a direction. Okay, now um, now we need uh, to initialize a constructor. The constructor will. Um, uh, take uh, two arguments. The first one will be the position, the x coordinate, and the y position, y coordinate. So let's first uh, remember those those past uh, arguments variables. Let's say original y is equal to the y position. Sh position. So this will save the original, um, the original position of the ball. So we can reset the game later. And uh, now we'll set the current value, the current position um, of the ball. The x and y are current position of the ball and let's set the direction to stop we can also um, um, let's define the reset function and we could have done this original x and y is original y and the direction is stop so the f and the constructor will uh, remember these coordinates and then we reset the game the current position of x and y will be set to the original one if we call the reset function and now we need to define the functions for changing the direction of the ball 
so we'll call the function change direction and it will take one argument and it will be the direction the new direction so let's say the current direction will be the new direction now we need um, um, to define um, public functions for getting the current x and y uh, coordinates so let's call it get x and we'll return the x coordinate also we can set this function to be in line so the compiler doesn't need to call the function but will actually just replace in the code um, the current position and let's copy this and change it for the y coordinate and also we need um, the direction and let's call it we need to return the direction so get direction and return the current direction it can also be in line uh, after that we need to change the direction randomly so the game will be more interesting so let's call random direction and now we are going to say the direction is going to be equal so we need to cast it to the enumeration and that's why we put the numbers here so we could cast it easily and we'll say um, rand model of six plus one so this will generate random numbers from uh, one to six as you can see only these only the directions that are uh, that the ball can move the stop direction is only when the ball is not moving so that's about the basic functionality but also we need to define a function for moving that will be the main function in order for our ball to be able to move so let's call the function move and the function will switch the direction the current direction yes like that and let's say case stop if the ball is stopped um, we will not do anything we'll break the switch if it's uh, if the direction is left we will decrease the x coordinate and break the switch uh, why do we decrease the left because the coordinate system starts from the top um, left corner and the x is increased on the right but the y is increased going down so if we go left uh, the x is decreased if we go uh, up the y coordinate is decreased so it's a reverse coordinate system now let's create the case for right so as you can see now we increase the x coordinate and we don't need the up or down as you can see we didn't define it uh, there because the ball can go right left um, upright um, or up left or down right and down left it can go up or down only because that's not how the pong game works it has to have a little bit of angle so let's now say up left and the uh, up left will decrease the x and decrease the y coordinate and now we'll say um, down left and the down left will decrease the x and increase the y coordinate let's break the switch and we have up right up right will increase the x decrease the y and break and we need the down right which will increase the x and increase the y coordinate and break the switch we can also say default and break the switch 
And now we have the basic functionality um, of the movement for the ball class. Um, we can, and uh, I will do that, we will uh, define a friend function. So let's say friend for outputting um, the object we uh, see out. So we will overload the bit shift left operator. Let's say O stream operator and we will pass the reference to the O stream object and we need a C ball because this is a friend function. And we will output this on the screen. So ball. Let's show the X coordinate. Now let's add a comma and show the Y coordinate. After that, we'll close this. This is only for cosmetics, so it will look nicer. And we will output the direction. It will be output like an integer. And let's close this bracket and end the line. Now we need to return the O. So the oh sorry, uh, so the um, stream can be continued. Now let's create and test this functionality. So let's create uh, an object uh, called C ball. Uh, let's call it C. And the object uh, will have two coordinates. Let's say zero and zero. Those those will be the position and let's uh, say let's show the current position the status of the ball so all we're going to do is going to say c out c after that we're going to call call the random direction so the direction of the ball will change but so let's display what will happen else. So the, but the ball will, won't move because we need to call the move function. And let's now show that the ball will move. And also again, let's um, randomize the direction, move the ball and display the ball status. Also, this will have double uh, new lines because I defined a new line here with which is not that good. So let's delete this. And um, now let's put the breakpoint here for the program not to end, or you can do system pause as you like, or get char and run the program. Let's see if it works. As you can see, uh, the ball is uh, on the zero, zero position and the direction is zero. So as you can see, the direction zero is equal to stop. We we changed the direction to six and it randomized to down right. And it didn't move because we didn't call the move on the first one. We just changed the direction and printed out the status. And then the ball moved once and it moved down right. Also, we changed the direction, but it got the same randomly. And when it moved, it went to the 2-2 two, two and showed, um, show, and then we show the current status of the ball. If you want, we can do this again. Just for the sake, let's change the uh, random direction again. And show the ball. And hopefully, uh, also we need to move it. I forgot that. And hopefully now it will be a different story. And as you can see, yes, the ball changed the direction to five and the five is upright. So the ball moved one step to upright and it's now it has the coordinates of three uh, point um, one, uh, three on the X and one on the Y coordinate. So this is the first part of the tutorial. In the next part, we will create um, the pedal so we can control it the ball is moving and working and after that we will uh, finish the game so thanks for watching this tutorial and uh, if you have any questions please post them in the comments um, and thanks again for watching and please subscribe see you in the next tutorial